Question 1 says, for each of the following temperatures, find the equivalent temperature on the indicated scale. A is minus 222.75 degrees Celsius. Find that on the Fahrenheit scale. B is find 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit on the Celsius scale. And C, find 115 Kelvin on the Fahrenheit scale. So the equation I use is that the, the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to the temperature in Celsius times the conversion factor of 9 degrees Fahrenheit per 5 degrees Celsius and then add 32 degrees Fahrenheit to that. So when you do that, your Celsius uh, is going to cancel out because this is basically Tc over 1, so the top cancels out with the bottom. And we're left with our units in degrees Fahrenheit. And so all you got to do is plug in your numbers. And the numbers, uh, so we, we would say that the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to minus 222.75 degrees Celsius times 9 degrees Fahrenheit over 5 degrees Celsius plus 32. And so our Celsius cancels out, and we can just multiply this and then add 32 to our answer. And we, you should get that the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to negative 368.95 degrees Fahrenheit. And part B wants us to find uh, some uh, the opposite of that, it wants us to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we just have to solve for this. And so I have all of this wrote up already, so I, I want to reveal it a little bit at a time. So here's the, the um, formula that we just used. And so all we're going to do is add 32 to, or subtract 32 from this side to move it over here. And we can see that uh, what we're left with is uh, the... 9 over 5 over on this side and now when we we want to multiply it by the reciprocal so that it cancels out so if we put, multiply this by 5 over 9 uh, it will cancel out and we'll get um, basically a 1 so anything times 1 would be just that number so we multiply it by its reciprocal on both sides and you just gotta remember to put this in in parentheses because basically you're multiplying both of these by that you're distributing and so uh, since this is going to be in degrees Fahrenheit and this is going to be in degrees Fahrenheit it has to they both have to cancel out here to leave us in degrees Celsius and so that's the formula and all we gotta do is plug in our numbers to to this and so you would plug in that the the temperature in Celsius is equal to 98.4 degrees Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees Fahrenheit times 5 degrees Celsius per 9 degrees of Fahrenheit. And if you plug that in your calculator, you should come up with 36.667 degrees Celsius. So the last thing it wants us to find is um, we want to convert from Kelvin to Fahrenheit. Now it's easy to convert to uh, it's easy to convert to uh, from Kelvin to Celsius because um, the temperature in Celsius is equal to the temperature in Kelvin. So we'll say temperature in Kelvin minus. 273.15 and this is um, if you've had any introductory chemistry or anything you know that um, whenever uh, you reach zero Kelvin it equals minus 273.15 Celsius degrees Celsius and so for every one degree Kelvin that you go up you go up one degree Celsius so up one Kelvin is equal to up one one Celsius and so this, this conversion factor is fairly straightforward. But it doesn't want this. It doesn't want our answer in Celsius. It wants it in Fahrenheit. So we've got to use two steps. So if we, start off with our, if we start off with our formula for the temperature in Fahrenheit, and we notice that we, we have it in degrees Celsius. So if we ha start out with Celsius, we could find our temperature in Fahrenheit. But we're starting off with Kelvin, so we've got to find a conversion factor for the Celsius into Kelvin. We just said that the temperature in Celsius equals the temperature in Kelvin 
minus 273.15. And so all we need to do is take this and plug it in right there. Now, I, I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm guessing that this is actually times a conversion factor of, of Kelvin per Celsius or something like that. So it's there's some conversion factor here that I'm I'm not completely aware of and I think it mentions something about it in the textbook around page 270, 271, something like that but we're going to ignore it just for simplicity and we're just gonna plug this in so we're gonna get the, the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to is equal to the temperature in Kelvin minus 273.15 times 9 degrees Fahrenheit per 5 degrees Celsius plus 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So, uh, and all you got to do is plug in the value it gives us. So the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to, uh, the temperature in Kelvin was one, one, 115 Kelvin minus 273.15 Kelvin. Uh, that will give us the Celsius value. Times this by 9 degrees Fahrenheit per, uh, per 5 degrees Celsius and add 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you just plug all these into a calculator, don't forget your parentheses, you should get that, that T, the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to negative 252.67, that's a 6. Uh, 6, we'll just change it to a 7 like that because my undo button doesn't work very well. Degrees Fahrenheit. So negative 252.67 degrees Fahrenheit.